Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site, BettingAngle.us, a free site. Let's talk Week 9 of the National Football League, a couple of early picks. This is before the Monday Night Football game at the end of Week 8 has been played. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now I see two early gems on the board. These are both sizable underdogs. You know, the Seattle Seahawks this last week fell apart defensively. I know that's not how it's being reported, but they gave up 512 yards of offense to the opposing team. They gave up 31st downs to the opposing team. Atlanta turned over the ball three times. That's why you ended up with the final score. Now I know Seattle has won four of the last five games. I know Russell Wilson is an MVP candidate, but understand Seattle's offense only had 18 first downs last week. The bet I like is Tampa Bay. If you shop around, you should be able to get them at a plus seven but even at a plus 6.5, which is now appearing in spots, I believe Tampa is worth the risk. Understand, Tampa Bay had 23 first downs against Tennessee. Didn't play that badly. Only gave up 16 first downs. But of course, they had four turnovers. Tampa seems to be a turnover story of late. The team, quite frankly, has been better than the final results. I know this is their second consecutive road game, but I'm expecting Tampa to cover the six and a half. I like Tampa getting six and a half or seven if you shop around right over the Seattle Seahawks. The next bet, a divisional game. But something's new here. And that's Daniel Jones. I like the New York Giants getting seven points against the Dallas Cowboys. Let's face it, Dallas, and I know they have great numbers, right? I get that. But Dallas has had a very easy schedule. They played the Giants when the Giants were floundering. They've played the Redskins, who are still floundering. They've played the Dolphins, who are still floundering. They even played and lost to the New York Jets. Right? Understand, Dak Prescott has thrown for 12 touchdowns. Impressive. Until you realize that in a partial season, Daniel Jones has thrown for 10 touchdowns. The Giants are different. They just picked up Leonard Williams. Everyone in the building knows that the Giants are serious in terms of improving the team. Golden Tate back from suspension. Again, this game is different than the first game they played. Saquon Barkley is back from injury. The Giants this last week lost to Detroit, but hidden in that news is the fact that the Giants had 24 first downs. Detroit only had 17 first downs. Daniel Jones, quarterback rating in that game of 124.2, right? 322 passing yards against a Detroit team that now is 500. In a divisional matchup like this, where the Giants want to see where they are against a divisional opponent who is a rival, I think the Giants cover the seven points. So, to sum up, I like Tampa getting six and a half. I like the Giants getting seven in week nine of the National Football League. That's how I see it with the early picks. Let me hear from you. Tell us your picks. Tell us your thoughts on these picks. Give us your insight into the angles that bettors need to know to get an edge on the casino. Thanks for stopping by.